to show you what happens when substances of two densities interact with each other. Now, these substances could be um, land masses. So, in, when we uh, look at plate tectonics and we have two uh, oceanic crusts coming together and one goes underneath the other one through subduction, uh, this models that. Or uh, we talked already about thermal helium circulation. So in thermal helium circulation, um, there, when a, a lighter um, water mass meets a denser one, the lighter one goes up and over. Or in uh, chapter five, we looked at what happens with fronts, okay, frontal weather systems. And that frontal lifting is again an example of how when uh, we have dense material meeting lighter material, the lighter material will go up and over. So what I have here is um, some hot water. This is just hot tap water. Um, and I'm going to put it in one side of this plexiglass chamber. And you'll notice there's a plexiglass partition between the two. In this other, I have some ice water with food, food coloring in it. So they're just colored so we can see them. And I'm going to put it on the other side here. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply um, remove this partition. And what I usually have my students do is to predict what's going to happen. So here we have hot water on this side, ice water on the other side. And so in your head, at least predict what will happen when I remove this barrier. Okay, so here we go. It's a little tricky to pull this out. Okay, so what I hope you're seeing is that we have essentially an internal wave in here, uh, which is called, the official name for that is a sesh, but essentially we have that warm hot water going up and over and on top of the cold blue water uh, underneath. So, Less dense, warm water is now just sitting on top of the cold blue water underneath. And you notice you can see that internal wave sloshing a little bit back and forth. Okay, so and if we leave it, the wave eventually settles down, that sesh. And there are those types of internal waves that occur within uh, different basins, uh, lakes especially, but you do sometimes get them in enclosed ocean basins. Okay, so this also demonstrates uh, in water what we call a thermocline, which is when we have hot, uh, lighter uh, water floating on top of the dense cold water underneath. And of course in the ocean, only the surface water uh, is penetrated by sunlight, and so only the surface water is warm. And most of the water in the ocean is very cold and dark, and it's quite heavy if you're down in depth. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to slide that partition back in again. And if I take my finger, and I wish you could feel this, but if I poke it through here, it's nice and warm. And then I can feel this freezing water underneath, so the contrast is very uh, pronounced. You might feel that if you're swimming in a lake sometime. You're swimming along, you get tired, you decide to tread water. And as your body goes from being horizontal to vertical, your feet may actually poke through the thermocline. I know when I was a kid, I always thought that there was a spring coming up from underneath, but basically I was just poking my toes through uh, the thermocline and feeling the cold water underneath. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mix this water on one side here. And uh, as you probably recognize, red plus blue gives us a purplish color here. And so, and then I'm going to withdraw the partition one more time. So again, in your head, make a little prediction of what you expect will happen. Let's see if I can get this out a little more smoothly this time. And I'm not sure how well this is showing up on uh, camera, but essentially what you should be seeing is that that purple uh, water basically slides right in between the warmer red water on top 
in the colder blue water um, uh, on the bottom. So now we have a triple layer, and uh, it's a little easier to see if you're actually here, but uh, you have to trust me that there's about a quarter inch of red water on top, about an inch of purple water, and then uh, again about a quarter inch of uh, blue water on the very bottom. Okay, so again for thermal paling circulation, water will find its uh, vertical elevation based on its density, and the same thing goes for frontal systems when you have cold water, I mean cold air meeting hot air, the hot air is going to slide up and over on top. And so uh, that's sort of a good model for substances of different densities coming together.